I'm here at, Kay, at Macy's with Kay, and we just finished the Lolita event, which was wonderful. It wasn't that fun. I loved the fact that you had the little martinis and the wine and everything. Right, the caterer. The caterer. That was and the music. Touch, creating right. those experiences. So tell us a little bit about why you wanted to bring Lolita. What attracts you to Well, Lolita? as a district merchant, and I do have 11 stores without the region, every store is different. So depending on what the customer likes and their requests for different patterns, colors, that type of thing, that's how we do that. And with the Lolita, that is something that the store definitely has gone overboard in all of the events that we've had here at the store. So we really like doubled our events every time we've had it. So our customer here at this location absolutely loves the entertaining part, the socializing, a lot of people after work. So that's one reason we choose this location. So Macy's actually has the ability to kind of monitor the shopping habits in certain areas and then bring to the store what those buyers really want. Right. As a district merchant, I actually each week collect customers' requests and logs out of at all of the home department. So if a customer wants more martini glasses versus wine glasses, um, different color towels, and every store is different based on what the people in that area are shopping for and where they work and things that they need. So it must be fun to create these experiences. Tell us about some other experiences that you've had or you may have coming up with Macy's. Um, in the next couple weeks, we do have Waterford coming for a signing event, which we're doing pre-sale right now, uh, which is, this is a large Waterford area, of course, with all in, in the wedding season and Christmas coming up. Um, other events we've done, let me think. We've had DJs, we've done Martha Stewart. We do, we do a lot of different um, celebrities with the Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren, uh, different events just depending on what our trend is in that store at the time. And how do you typically market those events to, to our readers? Is it through the mailings or um, in store? Basically it's through flyers okay. um, and our associates know well within like a month and in advance and then we're telling all, all of our associates. We definitely have some ads on the radio mm -hmm. for that. It just depends on how large the event is. Well you guys did a great Thank job you. It, it, you almost didn't feel like you were in the store no you know, which it's is all great. about the moment it's all having about fun it. we want people to come to shop have fun mm -hmm. it is an experience and it's retail it, therapy it is retail therapy and it looks like you know you met that objective because I, I think I saw the expressions of some people who didn't even understand or recognize Lolita but then when they saw her saw the signage saw the glasses they were like oh those are really cute and they started purchasing so and they realized that it was more than just a pretty glass also, her telling her story mm -hmm. uh, with her book, I think that was fabulous, yes. very inspiring. It just made me want to go out and invent something. Right, <laughs> exactly. Like, how can I reinvent me? Right. So, that's great. Well, I want to thank you for having this event and, and being so connected to uh, your buyers that you bring them things that they really wanted versus yeah. just putting stuff out there and hoping that they buy it. So, right. we appreciate you. you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.